Breathe in. Now, breathe in again. Every second breath you take comes from the ocean. No matter who you are, or where you live, your life depends on the ocean and the creatures that live there. From the tiniest organisms to the biggest. But for something so important to our lives, we know surprisingly little about it. In 2000, the census of marine life embarked on a mission to change that. This 10-year effort used the latest technologies, as well as time-tested techniques, to explore and monitor life in the sea. It was a landmark collaboration that involved more than 2,700 scientists, 80 nations, 600 institutions, 500 expeditions, and a staggering 9,000 days at sea. Census scientists recorded the locations of tens of millions of individual marine organisms. Some finds were thrilling. In the waters off Australia, researchers found a species of shrimp thought to have gone extinct 50 million years ago. Other discoveries, however, were not as encouraging. Off the coast of northern Europe, Atlantic bluefin tuna were scarce in waters where they once flourished. In many areas, the census found species that were completely new to science. In all, researchers found more than 6,000 potentially new marine species and formally described 1,200 of them. And for the first time, scientists created a digital address book of what lives in the oceans. Made up of nearly 30 million records, this resource is available for free to researchers and the public worldwide. Thanks to this unprecedented effort, now there's a baseline a snapshot of what lives in the sea and where it was found, against which future change can be measured. We can see how populations change over time, what stays the same, and what's at stake for our ocean's future. And hopefully, because of the census of marine life, we can all breathe a little easier.